Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 50 first round match between Kinroth and his Dark Elves and Mankiz and his Wood Elves. In the booth with me is the Elf Master himself, Purple Chest. Hello. <laughs> Hello Jimmy, and thrilled to be here for this elf -a -thon. <laughs> Really wets the blood, doesn't it? And gets the, gets the heart rate pumping. <laughs> Yeah, whenever I think elves, I think of purple chest, so there you go, that's a perfect person to have on for this. Uh, two really good teams here, could have been the final, I think. Uh, Mankiz is down, he's got a babe, so very close TV, he's only got 11 elves, that's the, that's the bad thing about it. But he's got movement up, guard, agility, you know, pretty, pretty nice, like not, not the best, not the best uh, elf t wood elf team, but they're still wood elves, so they can still win any game, can't they? And then Kinroth has got 12 guys. He's got an amazing Edge 6 Blitzer there, a Strength 4 Blitzer, um, Mighty Blow Tackler, Garda. It's, it's a pretty, pretty nice team, I think, a couple of guards. Really nice. I, don't, I mean, I don't want to drag these woodies down too much. Um, it, it's like a supercharged NAF team, isn't it? It's got a little bit of some nice things. It's got a very near Natty. Um, it's got the dancers you'd expect, you know, a wrestle, strip ball tackle, and a frenzy tackle, which is used to be very in vogue a couple of years ago. The French style of building war dancers. And that one sidesteps, of course, if it does do any surfing, it's it's fine on the sidelines. Um, the tree is a tree, there's no bloat on it. And the rest of the elves, there's a little bit of wrestle, there's a little bit of dodge, there's a little bit of plus move. It's fine, but it, as you said, there's nothing really there to catch the eye and go, oof, you know, I'd hate to face that. It, it's pretty much just what you'd expect. Dark Elves much, much weightier of a team, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the Dark Elves look exciting, whereas the uh, Woodies just look boring old Woodies. <laughs> Which, you know, boring old Woodies are still better than most teams. It's yes, just, they definitely are. It's just not... And perfectly capable of winning any match. Yeah. Yeah, just very unlikely to, to string them all together to win the tournament, aren't they? That's the thing. You wouldn't have thought so, but, I mean, even, even the Dark Elves here toys as they've got you know the wood elves are still faster uh, and at least as agile so there is always that that can be leveraged yep yeah movement is a big old deal huge you found me i found you yeah <laughs> and that's a real i mean that's a great player isn't it? the strength or tackle he does not want him getting fouled he's going to come back to protect him a little bit and three dice, three dice the catch is lovely, isn't it? Mighty blow tackle. Oh my god. Oh wow. Jimmy so fired to protect his neck. Not sure I'd have bothered with that. Like, he doesn't a mighty blow, does he? Uh, yeah. Man, it's um, it's interesting. This is very much the phony war, isn't it? I mean, yes, we need safe shapes, but the wood elves aren't exactly pressing hard. They're just poking around, seeing what what comes of that. The dark elves aren't exactly stalling hard. They're just sort of collecting and having a little go here and there, seeing where they can get to. But things will certainly liven up, I'm sure. Tree, of course, unlikely to be much of a factor in this matchup. It's very abandonable. Yeah, that's the well, thing. Isn't no it, doubt, root at yeah. some point. Yeah, I hate having the tree versus other elves. It's like yeah. oh, it's just a waste of time. It just gets abandoned instantly. But the problem is, is that these woodies are so uh, undersized that if you don't keep the tree, I mean, what have you got left? So. Yeah. <laughs> Rookie and cuttable as it is, perhaps it's still you know, serving just some value by being unbreakable. Mm. They're the the woodies are a little bit down because they they've got a bit so the, the the woodies are a tiny bit lower. But uh, about the same. Yes, much less than you'd think, just a, a, a casual glance at the teams. But then, of course, dancers are expensive. Put three skills on them, they're very expensive. And even rookie trees don't come in cheap. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot more skill. There's a lot of skills, isn't there? Like three normals, three normals, like a bunch of normals on this guy. Whereas the uh, the dark elves are just more have just more interesting things on them. Really. It's, it's 
more what it is, they just look more interesting, I guess. <laughs> only one Witch Elf as well. Yep. With only one skill, but that's the only skill you need, isn't it, for a Witch Elf, <laughs> really? Like, if you're going to pick one, I would personally rather she was Wrestle, but yeah, why not? Yes, I would also rather have Wrestle. Like, I think I think it's a more complete player with, with just Wrestle, but still, you know, you only need... Yeah. Yeah. Here, right? And she's she's blodge and blodge is great on any elf, so it's never a terrible thing. Yeah. There's there's a, a, there was an active debate in my Discord last night. My um, my new Delph team, the witch, was the second to skill, so I've got a blodge blitzer. And she rolled double fives and I chose Juggernaut. Wow. Not mighty blow. Wow. And not plus move to many people's consternation. But then that's what I want my witches for. Wow. I want Juggernaut, Wrestle, Tackle, um, and then possibly either strip ball or leap or dauntless. I want her to be effective exactly at doing exactly what I want her to do. <laughs> now, I wonder how much the, a feature that Frenzy uh, Dancer is going to be. Of course, being a dancer, it can go anywhere, can't it? And the Dark Elves, whilst they do have a nice team, there's not a huge amount of sidestep on them. Yeah, so they're too low. Can try and drive centrally. They're too low, aren't they, for the mass like size? So that's the thing. Like they're, yeah. they're not that high TV, the Dark Elves. And while they've got all these sexy stats and stuff, that you know, and the mighty blow makes them look interesting. Yeah, they do not have that much. Okay, they've got four, but still, <laughs> they don't have that much. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, but it's it's three blitzers, isn't it, that are sidestep? Yeah. So there's a lot of other things you want them doing rather than just holding space. Still, that should be enough to, to you know, move over to the side and cage if you really want to. Mm. And we are sort of seeing that, aren't we? Mm. I'm not sure I like this, Jim. I think if you're moving over and tagging something on the side, you need to go there en masse. Okay, those are the blitz target, good. But yeah. Yeah, he's we just speedy. surf the one near the edge now, unless we... Yeah, we have full on abandon the one near the edge. Yeah, who's gonna. Oh, wow, that's. And it's not like the frenzy's over the other side of the pitch. The frenzy is right there. It's not what I would have done. <laughs> you can surf him and get away. I mean, of course, you can get surfed back. But you can assist with your own sidestepper. He's only got two. Yeah, so you, you can. can. You can assist with that sidestep and then blitz with the other sidestep. That was really weird. Because he could have. Uh, he could have uh, put, like, a player there, couldn't he? Yeah, they absolutely didn't need one that near the edge. So, yeah, I'm pretty convinced that we haven't seen the blitz yet, have we? I think it's, yeah, it's going to be the... Yeah, yeah. It absolutely is. Now, okay, so what's the upside? He has pulled both dancers in. Perhaps that's the plan, get the dancers over there and then either bugger off the other side or kill them. I don't think yeah, there there's any... I don't think there's anything that can happen that pays off on turn four for giving up the final... Like, do you know what I mean? I just don't think any payoff can be worth it. Yeah, no, I don't really. I'm just grasping for reasons in a scary and frightening future. <laughs> I think he just didn't realise. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going with you know Occam's razor here. <laughs> it was mm. just never it looked was... for a conspiracy when idiocy explains it perfectly well. <laughs> um, <laughs> or incompetence, I should say. Yeah, let's I'm not an be incredibly mean. smart man. That was not a great place to leave that out. No. It, has he just done it? I mean, the witch is over the, the yeah, yeah. This is over okay. the other side this now, so okay. now it's fine. But okay, so he is at least exploiting the space it's created for him. So I quite like that. You know me and a bit of space, Jim. Yeah. Do you know what the best amount of space you can leave somebody is? Uh, simply not scheduling your playoff game. That that's the perfect amount of space. Then you get all the space in the world. <laughs> You do, that's true, but you also don't get another chalice game. <laughs> I do like them clicking in regular. The thing is, what what the, the best thing you could do actually, right, is is you know, I know I know that you you know okay, this is a slight lie, but you know none of us really enjoy Blood Bowl that much, so what the best thing you could do is just concede and then you've got three seasons off CCL. <laughs> How does that sound? <laughs> Jim, I, look, I will confess it has made me slightly conflicted. You enjoyed you know, building those those Amazons up so much, and I could see that little happy look on your face. And it is going to mean I'm I'm only going to really sort of half enjoy it when I kill them all. It's going to be that little <laughs> tiny pang that says, you know, this makes Jim sad. 
and I will have a moment of thinking that's that's not okay. That's sad. Oh, thanks. And then I'll just kill them all to get over it. It's going to be interesting, isn't it? I'm probably, I'm to be fair, I'm probably about thirty percent. No, it's going to be brief. I'm probably about thirty um, percent. Like you've got a couple of interesting Amazons that it might take me a while to kill, <laughs> and they could possibly do something before they die. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think I'm a, I think I'm a good. I think I'm a good 30% to win. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that's probably about right. It, it's Anyone can win a game of Blood Bowl. You're a damn fine coach. Um, if you get the right dice, they are still quicker and more agile than dwarves. You know, it, it can be done. Only, of course only it 11 can. dwarves. Only 11 dwarves. I've got a pommer. Mm -hmm. You know, let's roll some fucking dice. <laughs> it's probably your best bet, isn't it? Yep. Because otherwise I'm just going to fucking kill you. <laughs> I mean, not that much, right? There's only, what, three Mighty Blow Tacklers, is there? Yeah, and three other Mighty Blows. Is there? I did put Tackle on the runner, because I had a spare skill there, oh, and I was debating God. Tackle, and the minute I drew a Zons, it's obviously Tackle, isn't <laughs> oh, it? Oh, God, you put extra Tackle on? <laughs> yeah, and that's a move seven guy. <laughs> Alright, so then there's six Tackle, there's seven Tacklers then, is there? Um, yeah. Yeah, mm. just the set. But less than half of them have Mighty Blow. Yeah, yeah. So three. You have got quite a few without Blodge, don't you, that are just Dodge? Yeah, I've got a lot. But the Mighty Blow Blitzers can still mess those up. Yeah, it's an absolute shit team. But you've got a couple of nice ones. And look, I mean, as you said, and I agreed, and pretending it's true, anyone can win a game of Blood Bowl. <laughs> well, he just goes in for the uphill. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's... Oh, he's got strip. He's got. Strip. It's red dice with strip against the non-sure hands. Yeah, he's got strip. But, I mean, so I didn't he's... hate it. Yeah, he's, he's got to not get surfed. <laughs> yeah, that's the. Uh, that might be the issue. Oh dear. Well, Just kill like yourself that. instead. Oh, I, I mean, like, that. <laughs> like I didn't like it before he before he killed himself. The problem is, it seemed <laughs> unlikely to generate a positive outcome, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, because he's got the side step. If he didn't have side step, then mm. okay, at least you've got like three out of eight in the crowd, which is yeah. still bad. But like, at least you've got that, you know. And then like, maybe you could chain him, surf him, or whatever. But like, the fact that there's the all side steps around the ball just didn't seem like anything good was going to happen. And now he's abandoned the defense and. It's easy tuddy, isn't it? Easy thought, tuddy. Anything, was anything good going to happen anyway against those sidestep monsters? And at least it was a strip. It did have that option, but he did have to get back out afterwards. I I think dodging in was the way and leaping out, but that's me. Yeah, yeah. if, you, yeah, if you're going to even go for it, then do it that way. Yeah. Oh, maybe he couldn't. Maybe he couldn't leap in. Maybe he couldn't dodge in and leap out because it's bugged, isn't it, somehow with like GFIs and leaps? Oh, yeah, no, so, I have heard something about that, that if it if it bridges the move and a GFI, it doesn't let you do it, does it? Yeah, I think so. So he, he might not have been able to have done it. I'm not, uh, I'm not that sure. Might have been, right. I'm not sure, but it might have just not been possible. <laughs> just not possible! <laughs> just I mean, it, it's amazing how much of this game they got right. That's why we all still play it. There's loads that's good about it. And you just come across these glaring flaws, and you think, well, why was that all right with you? Yeah. This was something you made, and you decided that was okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can even get it, like, that there's only one person with a chainsaw in the whole game. That's <laughs> terrible, but I get it. It's cheaper. <laughs> but things that are just blatantly wrong and seem very fixable, well, why would you do that? Yeah. I wonder if this was better to uh, dodge off with him and, and blitz the... Uh... Dancer, you know, just for like the greedy payoff of if it works, might have been an idea. But like, I guess I, I, the guard is fine, is he? Yeah, I don't love any plan that leaves the strength four down the field. Really, these woodies have shown they want to, you know, kick things in the face to try and get things normal. Um, so I think that's what they do here. If I'm them, is having already committed to the fouling plan, which is not good. But there we are. Um, I knock this strength four over and foul it out, hopefully. Yeah. You ain't stopping the tuddy here, unless you go for a leap no. in 1D, which it's on. Which Gloria. looks like he's doing. No, I won't mm. give in. I mean, it is on. Until there is a... Victorious. You can even dodge him, can't you? It's only okay. on a 4 plus with dodge. I will yeah. defend. No guard covering Hello. it. Hello. 
Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. Like, to, so that's why I would have liked the dodge way and hit him with tackle and that. But never mind, never mind. Uh, Queen Elizabeth. Oh my God. Well, from beyond the grave. <laughs> Here's the sub. <laughs> she died hundreds of years ago. It's QE1, not QE2. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, I just assumed it was the alive one. No, um, that's the... Well, she's dead, too. No, they're both yes, dead. Yeah, well, that's what I mean originally, because Queen Elizabeth, this is 12 months, you know. <laughs> I assumed it was the alive one. Ah, started when alive, but continued in her honour. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What she would have wanted. <laughs> it's Prince Andrew just wrapping up her online affairs and thinking, yeah, yeah, she should she'll drop another one there. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that's the problem with the frenzy is sometimes the reds aren't going to be nice. Yeah, it saved his reroll for the one turn. Uh, but uh, thank you very much for staying fantastic for a whole year. And hello, K-Fog. Yeah, the guard catcher could have come in. Uh, very good point. Could have come in for the uh, yeah. guard and probably should have done. <laughs> Ultimately, 75%. Very worth it, isn't it? I think that was a great move to get in with the uh, guard. Surprising he didn't. Very surprised he didn't. Well, having a guard elf and, and sort of not trying to use it is a bit scary. It, it does have dodge as well um, because it's obviously it's a catcher. Yeah. So it could have got in to provide the assist three quarters of the time. And then that makes the hit so much more likely to work. Yeah. Yeah, I think you've, you've got to take it. Yeah. And especially as, like, he took the guard on the catcher as well, right? So, like, yeah. if, if if you're just watching and you don't see that he's got that guard catcher to run in, then you can be forgiven. But, like, he's he's picked guard on that catcher. He knows he's got guard on that catcher. He should have He should have got in with that guard catcher for sure. I do need to just um, abandon you for a few minutes, Jimmy, and check that the kids have uh, finished with their dinner and all of that. Okie dokie. Like I said, I was out all day and my son was out overnight and he got back half an hour before I left, so I haven't really seen them much today. I just need to check they are fed and focused on back to school tomorrow, and then I will be back in ten minutes or so. Glorious. Um, I despise one turning anyway. <laughs> I shall leave you to commentate on this as if it's something that anyone cares about or should ever emulate. <laughs> As elves, I just win in normal time, take my ball away from you and score. I don't need all this nonsense. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's true, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Elf doesn't care about one turning. It's not because he only ever plays dwarves that are movement six and agility three, of course. It's it's because he's an elf coach and doesn't need to one turn. Yep. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> That is true, yep, K-Fog, he can only win with a natty one turner, it's true. I pommed him twice as well. I pommed him twice and didn't get rid of him. <laughs> Tragedy. Wasn't a natty, was it not? Wow. I just thought it was. Needed one push. I thought it was a natty. Yeah, who cares about facts? We'll just keep calling him a natty. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> the one that you beat me, I thought you had a natty. Because I, I pommed him twice. I thought he was a natty. And, like, surely I had some stand firm, so... Whether he was a natty or not doesn't matter. I thought he was a natty. <laughs> I thought he was a natty, okay. <laughs> That's all that matters. Uh. He's such a rookie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh... Jimmy versus K Fog, where is it? Why can't I find it by Googling?
It was Roller Dwarves, wasn't it? Can't I fucking find it? K Fog versus Quetzal Court, was that the final? P did he? No one turn here. After all that set up. Move ten, edge five, sidestep. So yeah, he, he had sprint, didn't he? Because would else start with sprint? So yeah, he was a pretty he was a pretty good one turner. <laughs> he was a pretty good one turner. Move ten, blood blodge step, move ten, edge five. There you go. So yeah, what he wasn't that. And I pommed him twice. I remember pomming him twice. And uh neither time. I like I think I stunned him twice. Which, you know. Had I rolled like luminous, then uh I might have won that game. It would still have been 50 50, wouldn't it, to see you on the toss, but still. I would, uh, I would have lost the final anyway. The final was versus Chaos, so even if I'd beat KFOG, I would have lost the final, I guess. This is a long P, P Diddy, isn't it? Where are our art commissions, Jim? It's a good question, Leet. <sighs> yeah, so it was probably... It was probably good that I lost. <laughs> probably good that I lost to a natty, you know, that's... I lost to the... The best coach with the best team. You know, nothing I could do was better than just getting shat on in the final versus Clawpom. <laughs> it's a better story, isn't it? It's a better story. I was denied by a bloody natty. It's much better than... Uh, dude made two dice blocks with Chaos and removed me in three turns. <laughs> um... The art commissions is a funny one, Lee. At least there was a nice coach with a brunetti. Oh yeah, hello, Kevok. The best coach <laughs> and the loveliest fella. There you go. And that's uh, plenty netties not winning. <laughs> it's hard to keep them alive. Yes, that's true. I had a natty and didn't even qualify. <laughs> My, my stupid Wood Elf team where I had to move ten edge five, <laughs> and then I had two edge five dancers as well. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even. And then for remember right, I had to. I beat Mister Page, Diomed, and I had some pretty nasty teams on the way. Yeah. Oh yeah. Not not taking anything away from you. You know to say that you had a natty, but you did have a natty. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was thinking about the, the one where beat um, beat PCs uh, for us, where it was a near natty where I had to use one push. Where he will, where he managed to let me uh, fill in squares to make it anyway. Ah uh, yes, yeah. That's the that's the that's the game and your game. I keep uh, mixing together because you both played dwarfs. <laughs> it's so weird as well, isn't it? Because PC is such a well-known elf coach. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but yeah, that 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 sack play. If you're going for that sack play, you bloody take your uh, guard catch your wit. You should get it two dice. Yeah, it's just ridiculous not doing that. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. It's such a such a big deal, isn't it? Um... <laughs> <laughs> and when you have a guard catcher standing there, what are you else going to do with it if yeah. you're not using it for that? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, it's. It's it's fair enough, like not spotting it, just watching, it, or, or like the other guy not not spotting it and stuff. But like when it's your catcher that you've given guard, and you know your catcher has guard, it's yeah, it's pretty and bad it, that he did. And there was four plus. How often do you get the chance to not being five pluses but four pluses? Yeah, true. it's such a massive difference as well. You're yeah. more likely to make it than not. Yep. Yep. Huge. Is this is this still on? I've. It's a how much he only need one push, right? Yeah. It might be because he might be able to. Now he can hit it from the front. Um. Oh, he's moved him. He's moved his frenzy. Oh. But he just need one, right? Yeah, but he's he's moved his frenzy, so. Yeah, but he can hit if he hit the lineman from the left. The left side. Right. So he moves. Oh so yeah, yeah, so then he goes yeah. all the way back <laughs> and then side steps forward. And in, but it's a really bad place because it's true tackle. But you need yeah. to try it. Yeah. So he runs around, hits him into the. Get scatter back, 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 into the. So he has to put the guy. Yeah. Uh, uh, he, next to uh, next, yeah, there where he puts it. So into yeah. there, into there, into there, into him going forward. Yeah, into there, into there, into it, there, it, into there. That was nice, wasn't it? That was nice. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's quite similar to exactly the one turn against PC I talked about. Yeah. Obviously, sucks through tackle, but incredible to. Uh, yeah, just it's a good man. Do it. Mankins is it's not bad. He's a good mm -hmm. coach. It, it surprised me he didn't take that guard catcher in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's made the two tackles. He's used dodge. Three plus, oh, two plus. God. Oh. One turn versus perfect defense. Oh. With, like, loads of sidesteppers as well. If he had just put the sidesteppers on the LOS and, like, backlined, he wouldn't have scored, yeah. would he? I don't think. Oh nope. no! But then he's got sidestep, so he could have filled in the square. So he had to put something up there because he could have filled yeah, in. So but it? he put too much. He put smart too much. You back. You just back your back line higher up. But then so it, if you, he could fill in all the squares, couldn't he? And then and then still get him. So I, that was really. Yeah, but how, how do you defend that? It's hard. It's hard. If if you split the sidesteppers on the line and put a, a line to, like two behind, so you have to dodge in back. Yeah. Uh, at least then he have to roll a lot more dice. Yeah. Um, or at least put a sidestep there where he needed to, if he had that, or put somebody because the weak punch was exactly on the outside. Yes. Yeah. Wow. I mean, but very impressive bit. though. Very impressive from Mankiz, and he did the sexy chain push. The uh, you know when when Dimmy tells on himself that clip that was Mankiz doing the sexy chain push with it with his chaos a few seasons back. So. Yeah, he's very, very good at the old chain pushes, his man case. So, yeah. That was really nice. Yeah, it's nice to see it when it works. It's it's nice example on you don't have to... There's so many alternative ways to, to do stuff than just pushing people into a hole and then block them around. <laughs> yes, yeah. Which is, which is pretty much the worst way because it takes an extra block. Yeah, oh, it pains me. It pains me whenever I see somebody using the whole method. <laughs> if it's if there's no, sometimes it is the best option. Sometimes yeah. there's no other ways, but there's so often people just do it by automatic. Yeah. Kinwood's well, team is named after the League of Legends characters. I have no clue. Oh, Kinrod. Oh, Kinrod. I'm looking at Mankis. <laughs> That's what it could be. I don't know any of these. Oh, no, Viego. <laughs> it's the only one that I know. Or are these like their abilities and shit? 
one turn works then. It did, yeah. Versus a perfect defence. It was an incredible play. Loads of loads of hole filling. Uh, well, like, you know, square filling. Stay and then a, a very, very smart chain push back and then sidestep forward and then dodge through tackle and perfect. Absolutely brilliant. You know, PC, like people have done to you. <laughs> it has been done to me, yes. <laughs> it's very hard to stop and there's some toxic arsehole out there telling everyone how to do it. <laughs> it's not on, is it? <laughs> no, I wish they'd stop. <laughs> yeah. Shocking. Shocking toxicity. Toxic curve. Those that both know both on KFOG's own YouTube and uh, linked in a big playlist from mine, you will find his excellent one turning guide. Yep, there you go. There's the link there. On, uh, I've got a command for it. Look at that. Look at Top that. quality info for all the lads and lasses. Yep. And those who prefer the term yeah. they, them too. <laughs> Yeah, some of them is a bit long. Sorry about that. <laughs> Not as long as mine when I when I took like I took about six turns to do a one turn. <laughs> That's Still not matching the legendary Sage video <laughs> that describes a one turner that he both didn't complete and was going to take seven turns anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. It was move move seven one turn is the title of the video, and he not only did he not score, the guy was move six. <laughs> Oh Jesus! <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, to be fair, I, I, even I was cheating and using uh, Stunty to make it easier to get the dice. It still took multiple attempts sometimes to get it quite right. Yeah, I, I did as well. I like I cheated. I had like I, I don't know if I had Snotling. No, I don't think I had Snotlings. I think I just used uh, yeah, I just used Halflings. I think. It took yeah. Me, it, it took me ages. Like it literally took me about six turns to do a one turn. <laughs> it was ridiculous. <laughs> It's, it's incredible how many powers you can roll if you just want to push. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm confused here. Um, as, a, as a natural elf coach, obviously I, I can understand most of the plays I see. But I'm not really much of a wood elf coach. Uh, obviously better than Alessius, but other than that, <laughs> I wouldn't play much. Um, I suppose we're not pushing things onto the tree and not setting the tree up to monsters and elves for a reason. Is it blitzing forwards the tree into the middle of some elves or something? Maybe he just wants to keep it, you know, just doesn't want to activate it, so he just wants to Yeah, perhaps it it's not doing anything at all. Yeah, yeah, just leave it there to have, like, double screens. Because mm. the dark elf needs to come for the ball, because the wood elf doesn't need to go anywhere for the first at least four turns. Oh. If not five or six. It's like a half dacker, isn't it? Yeah, I kind of, I personally, like, we talk dagger a lot. I don't particularly like going too deep if I don't have to. Because mm -hmm. the, the, the downside, especially against elves, is if if it fucks up, they just score straight away. Mm. So dagger yes, against mean, elf is bad, I think. Whilst you probably wouldn't accept an easy route past this turn, um, you might be looking for one in a couple of turns and feel you can stall up at the other end for two or three. Mm. Depending how many dark elves you leave behind. Yeah, that's. I'd, I'd rather stay mobile and putting them around and see. Though there are times a withdrawn offence is the right tactic, but um, a lot less for me than others. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's definitely so often in the chalice uh, some chaos some some killer teams where it might be worth trying not to get hit too much too early. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a perfect defence, so that's why the tree was abandoned. Ah, uh, oh, I see. I get <laughs> missed. <laughs> back to Thank back you, Sergeant. <laughs> yeah, but he's not too unhappy about that. It's still no a good chance to not have to sigh as it takes root and you can't possibly re-roll it. Yeah. That does suck, doesn't it? A lot easier if you just don't have the tree. Yeah. It's also expensive when you then get clawed by turn one by a chaos for something yes, chaos it's, that just it's kills no use turn against one. elves and at this TV no use against proper killers so it's yeah, only really it, useful against orcs and dwarves and, and Kemri and lizards and things like that and it has it right in CCL but just because the amount of games you just it takes some attrition away from the other players yeah so it just saves you a bit but it also pushes you in your what one is it one turn one thirty it also pushing you quite higher up, so until you get a proper win rating where you're playing mean teams anyway, it 
Yeah. Now, we have seen Kinroth forget mm. that the Frenzy can surf him before now. But I think he's done the opposite here. He's pulled a little tight. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could have gone past the Dark Elves this turn on either flank. I love it. I said 110, 130, and it's 120. Yes, yeah, 120. Yeah, it's 50 more than a... It's the same as a dancer, isn't he? 50 more than a line or... Yeah, so it's, I don't like taking the tree personally too early because it just skyrockets your team, team value. Mm. It's interesting, isn't it? I think it's it's like it's better in in kind of it's kind of better in CCL just because it does project you like it stops you taking so much attrition on your lineholes, doesn't it? Which is which is good. Well, even in here, That's... we're seeing that the dark hills don't want to push up through it, <laughs> and they don't want to get separated by pushing up both sides of it. And yeah. the first time it activates, it takes root. Well, of course it does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but right there in the center of this line of scrimmage, it's still capable of doing some work. You can still, you know, fulcrum your, your side swaps around it. And no, it's still not a piece that any Dark Elf wants to end up on top of. No, it's fine. It's just, yeah, again, I still think it's, for, for how I want to play Wood Elf, I still think it's a lot of money for something that doesn't actually help me with what I want to do. Yeah. I've... It's quite interesting. I think Mankins is going to narrow as well. Mm. <laughs> I, mm. I kind of like it, Steve. More, more space. I have more. It's less likely to know where I'm going. Well, you're unlikely to find the space to get past in numbers if you're not prepared to at least faint towards one of the edges. Yeah, you kind of often you go a bit to one side, a bit to the other side, a bit back again. Yes. You kind of scatter. But here it's just in the middle. Yeah, he's just staying in the middle, so both can kind of stay in the middle without anything really happening. Yeah, great point by Hammers. I don't know why he activated the tree. I don't know where he'd have moved it. It was, yeah. it was totally fine where it was. It was brilliant yeah. to not activate it, and there you go. Um, but yeah, the key problem with the tree is that it isn't an elf. I mean, that is a great point, right? Where You saw it the other day, uh, somebody's down like, you know, six players. If one of them's a tree, that's terrible, isn't it? Like, you know, if one of your six elves is a tree, then you're down to five players, because your tree isn't doing anything when you're down to six six players, is it? You know? And like, as elves, you will be down to like six, I'm seven very players quite a lot. They're terrified of it. They're dropping two rookies on it. <laughs> At this level. And, and yes, then the rest of your five elves are playing against the rest of the team. And, and even if it's not rooted, it's in win, win two, so it's not coming fast anywhere. No, it's, not, it's not very helpful, is it? In um, what elves do best. But there are matchups where, you know, we would still see three orcs on it, desperately hoping to get some change out of its AV turn. Yeah, um, it's, it's always a good fun in those matchups if you see if you can find more orcs to place on the tree. <laughs> it's always a fun little mini game in the game itself, yeah. seeing how many orcs you can get on the tree. Okay, now I prefer this. We've got a sidestepper and a little bit of cover on the left flank. And uh, I see I'm reversed to you. On the right flank as we look. And coming down our left flank, we've got the main assault of the Dark Elves. And yet slow enough in front of the tree that pushing up through the tree looks tricky. Although there's an obvious stall spot right behind it if that's all they want to do. Is yeah, I think that's turn. what's happening now. He's blitzing the, the rookie lineman and just moving up in, in that area of the pitch. Could have moved the pitch of... first, though, couldn't he? This was, you know, if this yeah, had been quads, could have done, yeah. this had been quads, there'd have been a hit on the ball. <laughs> yeah. Or if it had been, uh, you know, a push on the first two, then it would have been into an elf. Yeah. And then it's a one in thirty-six off, so it's it, it's fine, but it's yeah, it could have been bit... safer. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Back foot, back foot. <laughs> I was going to say that's a little previous. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> I think he thought about it. I mean, he could I be defended can't. there. I just don't see the advantage. Mm. So not, this is a bit crap, isn't it? Oh, there it comes. Like, this is an easy dodge in for a wandy, isn't it? Like, it's an easy wandy if you want to. Does he have a guarder that can get in? Yeah, he's done the... Uh, I, He's done kind of this. Oh, it's a. It's not. It's a five plus if he doesn't want to be in the Wood of Garda, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's five plus everywhere. Yeah, five plus everywhere, yeah. Plus everywhere. Yeah, but it's not an easy. He needs to come from the back to make it a 1D. But yeah, it could easily. Oh, he couldn't. Actually, he can just mark the. Uh, yeah, why he is that catch yeah. In my world, the catch up was uh, standing one square more to the right. I don't know why. Yeah. He's not. He should have been. Yeah, yeah, it's much better, isn't it, to have him there or there? Because then the then the guarder means it's a two die against pretty much no matter what. Mm. 
I mean, the DEs are the are the DEs really comfortable? Like, not really. I'm not saying that you. I'm not saying I would go for the one D, but like, it's there if you want it, right? Or, or I would. You know, but then I'd have a wrestle witch. I think. Oh, he's got which strength four. He's got his strength By placing my guard four. round the back, I could do oh, as a one D into two D. Yeah, um, I think I think you take three dice and the guard catcher if it's me. If I can get into getting three dice and that with the tackle piece. Hmm. I mean, the, the thing is, we do have an attrition piece, and so we can probably fill in the elves one or two more. But at some point, it's unlikely to be a lot. And we might get a four plus, I suppose, for a one die. But uh... yeah. Plus, if we don't start going for it soon, we are going to run out of turns, and I might want two or three goes at it to make it happen. How many? Rather times? than wait all half for that one better turn at it and have that not work. How many sidestep does the wood elf have? Just two, I think. Um, two. But I might... It could potentially be a one-turner on the other way. It's a lot more tricky, but... It's... Yeah, very tricky. Yeah, I think we're just looking for a bit of attrition and then looking to... Is there any... There's no movement eight blitzer. No, I'll move seven side steps the best he's got, which is... Yeah. Pretty rough. Doable. Rough, but doable. Mm hmm. I mean, very rough. Two sidestep and a stand firm is <laughs> is really hard, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, he needs to go for one. That, yeah, I guess there could be a priority going for for, for the sidestep. I think he has to stop him. I think this is the oh. this is the drive. I think we should be looking for turning over. Yeah, I think he has to stop him. Yeah, because I think you're not you're not going to score a one turn, and also you're not going to stop what else. So therefore, you have to turn them over. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're very unlikely to just stall them out. Like, it's not like dwarves. You know, I know some of us uh, play dwarves sometimes, but, um, you know, with with dwarves, you can stop the advance and you can stop them getting in range and make them roll yeah. dice and you can maybe stop them. Like, often you'll see dwarves just not score, but generally, wood elves are either scoring or getting turned over, aren't they? They're just. Yeah. It's very yeah, hard I think. To stop them. I would probably, yeah, it's, see if you can get the guard catcher to make it harder for the wood elves to do anything good caging. And I might be more aggressive that actually putting pre like that a uh, catcher in the front. I, I'm not sure guys. you can get better. He, the, the, you know, every assist was cancelable, so it'd be a one die. The guard yeah. wasn't anywhere near. I think the trees I've, rooted and not going to be a factor. We had plenty of elves, so we could afford to set a screen and think, still have elves to attack with. I thought it was the perfect time. I, f I think because there's, there's only he can only blitz one with tackle. I think I will put pressure on the gates to turn first, just to see what happens. Because he can yeah. even yeah. if he runs away and scores early, then we at least can just two turn it back. Yeah, true. I think we put I'll put pressure on first to see if we play my bully, bully elf and see if I can create more pressure, like he kind of have. But you can do that on. Wow, he's just failed. Doesn't re roll it? No, he can, doesn't. Yeah. Well, now he's now he can now he can dodge in where the tree is, right? So now yeah, yep. he can, now he's got a four plus in with a strength four tackler. And nothing else you can put so oh, much pressure. Oh, he's blocked already. He could have actually just changed. Why, he could have changed in you? the tackler, couldn't he? Yeah. yeah. I, I think he starts putting pressure on them. I don't think he'd been looking even at it then. Oof. Thought that was I, a too quick decision. Yeah. In a key turn. However, there's still a lot of options. I mean, there's even just, you could... All those sidesteppers, if you just hammer that in around the elves, the elf you might could... be able to run, but it doesn't get a cage with them. Yeah, you can four plus the guard in and then come in with the tackle, or just you've actually block... got the agility six piece, can go in and one die any time it likes. I'll just blitz, uh, blitz the corner now and put everything in around the cage and let the wood elf hang himself again. No, he's in. He's in, he's in for the two. He's in. Uh, that's... Oh, it's the string four. Yeah. Makes sense. Well, it's three out of four that he was going to get there. I mean, I, I thought that was... He had to take no it. No brainer. He? But yeah, if you're going for it, you might as well go for the chain push in. Yeah. To not risk the four plus. Yeah. Well, now the edge six just runs through, picks up the ball, fucks off. <laughs> it does look that simple, doesn't it? Yeah, and he even... Does he have a lineman free as well? He can uh, sc help to screen off and a witch from the other side to make it... However, they're elves, so they will always be able to get out on a three. Yeah, the, the, the tackle dancer we will be back. Or a strip ball. You cannot really stop that if they... <laughs> At six. 
I mean, yeah, it would only have to be edge five, wouldn't it? But yeah, he, yeah. he can he can easily sneak. Yeah, certainly yeah, can easily use a reroll as well. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it's blood sidestep. <laughs> just yeah, it's just, oh, AG6 is so clear close to cheating. Yeah. And it, to be fair, in this game, it is basically cheating since the rules again are wrong for the passing. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Yes, but I've yet to find another human other than you that cares about that. Or it's <laughs> I care. <laughs> I, I can't. Can't. I, dis I discovered it years ago. I discovered it. I remember. Pl I remember playing it with Elp. I tested it with Elp <laughs> on my laptop. So you know, I'm. How far could you throw Elp? Hey, not far enough. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. It's, it's just a good what example because it's so basic and it's it's so basic blood bowl and it's not like a, a a question mark in the rules. It's straight up saying in the rules it's a fumble. Yeah. It, it's not even hard. It, yeah. Yeah. But then, it's funny, isn't ah. it? It's funny because they haven't made the game themselves. Like, at least if they'd made the game themselves, they'd know how everything should be, wouldn't they? But you can't really expect, like, Cyanide yeah. to get the rules right because it's just some game that they don't know how to play. <laughs> I think also, that's, yeah, the problem is maybe the willingness to fix stuff that's clearly was just wrong. Yeah, but clear to who? Do you know what I mean? Like, PC who's... gamer. Yeah, but oh, they identified them them. <laughs> as the second most knowledgeable group about Blood Bowl on this earth. Yeah. I think so. for you to, to not agree with that, I think it's just toxic. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we've got a cheating edge five after after the cheating uh, after the cheating edge six. We've and got uh, and then got players that can come down. Yeah. And then players that can come down. All sorts of more dancer can uh, leap out and uh, have line and about elves, it isn't it? there's always options because they can do everything any but, turn. but everything is tackles so eight you... yeah there's a lot of tackle there, yeah. there one, is a lot of two but I guess so he needs to do three two pluses oh is he starting with that okay that's a good uh, good use of a one yep is it a new hate breed <laughs> <laughs> Does he know exactly what's coming? Well, there's your out, Bull. So two, three two pluses without dodge. And two two pluses with dodge and a pass, and then the wall dams can come down as well and help screening off. Mm -hmm. Four the, two uh, pluses, uh, isn't it? Because it's... One, two, three dodges oh. plus the pickup. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, but yeah, but of the dodges with, without reroll. But yeah, it's four two twos without having rerolls. You're right. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's that's quite a lot of rolls. Now in the equity sweep state, did anyone have uh, three three with four turns left? Because <laughs> <laughs> these guys are not it. very keen on using rerolls. Oh, well, there we go. Just elfing that's their just way for whatever they need. Easy. That's, that, that is now the that's nothing failing on anything. <laughs> now the Dark Elves do have a wrestle dodge lineman in range. Uh, yeah, yeah, but and the two, but if the tree can knock down, that that catcher can come down and screen as well, easy, or even without knocking with the tree. Yeah. Why are you? That's a guard piece. Why? I don't understand. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you go catch it that way instead. Yeah. Because you need to screen as a guard that could just run down as well, otherwise. Yeah, I preferred I preferred getting the catcher out this side than this side. I think I might have gambled and just done the oh, block. Oh, that's three one plus too many. Is that, can it get the other way? Yeah, now it can come through the back of the tree. And it, it can at least put a tackle zone on the sidestep war dancer, which is helpful. It's not as helpful as if it could put guard on the actual ball carrier, of course, but it, it helps. Oops. And that's worse still. It's so I prefer the square it was in when the odds of getting that cat, that guard onto the ball carrier were pretty slim. I, I like now the they're fact less, that... but you can get it somewhere useful. 
I like the fact that they're still not using any rerolls for anything. Yeah, yeah. Now Kinroth's been space cadet a little bit, hasn't he? He's got all these. He's made this massive push down there, and he got his edge six there, and you know everyone. And then it's just got the ball straight back. And now all of a sudden, how the hell does he stop this getting sold out? Strength four. What else decided to elf it? Spring four can go straight back for it. Yeah, straight, just in on the four plus again. Yeah, you just tax and then straight in for four plus, and, yep. and then you figure out afterwards what you do. Yeah. But if the ball is not free, then it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, you can tag without any go for it from the summer, the one of the two on the right, yeah. either the sidestep dodge or the naked one can tag. Yeah. And then I think it has to be the strength four, while you've still got other elves to try and respond with, because that's where you can lead the rerolls as the go for it for the responders once you do the hit. You might even just go for the pick up with the string four if you get it free. Okay, I don't hate one more down there, but I think now's the time to go before you move any more elves. Maybe the witch elf. Yeah, witch elf. Some of the some of the things further away could do something, couldn't they? You c I don't really want to try and fish for a pal on this guy. But some of the guys that's clearly not going to do much else I will run back as well, because I think you need to pick it up on string four and hope yeah. it keeps it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, get this guy around there. Pin, punch yeah, I'd be him. looking for him to respond to wherever the ball is. Punch him. And get near to it. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm with Carl. I think if you're you know, you're going for the 4 plus dodging and you're going for the you know the pick up, whatever happens. Then... Well, the same. I'm trying to pick up on the strength 4, but I want yeah. Elsbill to get around him afterwards. Yeah. Oh. See, the, the failure state, that's the thing, isn't it? If you'd done this yeah. with Mighty Blow first, if, that got this guy, now, if he'd done this three dice, got this guy up, you know, if he'd just done all these save moves first, it's a lot better, isn't it? Yeah, and now the stall is definitely on for a turn more. Yeah. And you might, if I would elf, I'll look and see if uh, one of my linemen can boot that string for as well. Yes. This guy can, can't he? Potentially the loner, he can, uh, he can hit the tree. Oh, wow, there's a Kaz. I'm saying goodbye, hit spike. <laughs> yeah. Is he gonna apple but this? Yeah, I guess he's. I guess he's going to. Yeah. He's only, yeah, you, you, you know, he's like he's got this guy sent off, so it makes sense. Yeah, the tree tree can hit him, can't he? Uh, and then that gives you the two plus to come and foul this strength four, which is pretty fun. <laughs> Yeah, I'm missing with 12 pluses, unfortunately, but of course it is very doable. Yeah. Yeah, like you've got to go for that 4 plus, haven't you? And just yeah. If you fail, I'm lucky. Yeah, I agree. Uh... Okay, Seattle. And then we'll put it on. Put it on the wall answer. Yeah. Actually, I will probably put it on the 85. Because if the wall ends are good, it's not down, he, he might get stunned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I guess you could just keep it on the wrestler. Like... That's bad, because then anything... It is bad, but like the edge 6 is, is far away, isn't it? So, like, do you know what I mean? You've got better things to respond if the if the, if the wrestler goes down. Like it, you're, you're making another 2+, plus. I guess he's got 3 rerolls. So, but, you know, yeah. it's an extra 2+, plus you're making, isn't it? But I guess he's, the fact he's got so many rerolls, he's got a reroll for every turn. Yeah. And yeah. He's gone for the handoff, his best. But yeah. with this edge 6 just not being a threat next turn, even if he sacks the ball, it's not that bad, is it? No. Yeah, I'm still still not sure. I like the wall then, so just if something actually makes goes wrong, he's the one that should get the ball back. Yeah, yeah. But hey ho, he should probably. Not the only question I guess is if we getting the wood elf around to foul that dude. Yeah. Surely, that's that's a lovely uh, journeyman just standing there. Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? Because you could do this hit as well, and then if you like, if you power him, then I oh, know you'd have to be a three-two to get. Oh, he's got him through anyway, on it. One, two, three, four, five, six. He doesn't even. It's a two plus back back around the tree anyway. Yeah, one, two, three. No, it's not. There's a, there's a player here. Oh shit! Sorry, that's a tree. <laughs> so yeah. So then you'll hit with the tree. Yeah, you got to hit the tree. On. So. Come on. 
Oh, three plus, two plus. Yeah, extra assist here. Lovely. Oh, come on. One more. <laughs> oh, three. Gotta make this foul. Get up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has one. And oh, go for the dodge first. Uh, I think, why, why didn't you not? I will block with the three. Yeah, I think blocking the three. Like, okay, like you're freeing up a guy. But, like, it's only a two plus for that Dark Elf anyway. Absolutely. There's so much more to gain than lose there. Plus, you're in a position where you need to get lucky. And when you need to get lucky, you need to do things that have possible lucky outcomes. It could also kill the, the, mm. the Dark Elf. Like that one. Yeah. Killing the Dark Elf and nearly... Uh, killing the Wood Elf and nearly king, freeing your Dark Elf would be exactly the sort of very positive outcome I'd be looking for here. Because I think we're hosed otherwise. It's, it's, he's up shit creek. The, uh... certainly is. We can force them in on 15 maybe, but... Oof. Only if they're having a complete lack of confidence in themselves. <laughs> um, can he can he cancel assist and try again with three plus? Just trying. Three, yeah, can he... three, five. Oh, we, I was about to say those wrestle is fine. Oh yeah, the wrestle for one day. Yeah. It's a diving tackle, but hey, hey ho. <laughs> What about, uh, is there the block witch? It's a photon on wrestle witch. I don't know what he's doing. Oh. It's coming down to okay. attack. Okay, so he's going for the wrestle. Yeah. Seems so, yep. Two two pluses and then a five plus in. Can he get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could he could go for three plus three plus red? Or does he? Oh, look oh. at that! Pops dodge on that one. So I think he goes for the into five plus. I may go three two plus three plus over the top. You could have done. Mm. Nope. Are you, are... Yeah, three be three four two. Yeah, three. Two, yeah, two, yeah, that's two, bad. Three it's four nothing. two two instead of five it's two. Bad. It's all bad. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the well, I respect that he had a go and got his one die on the ball there. Yeah. yeah. He tried. Yeah, it helped, but it was a good try. Yeah, it kind of helped because of the extra player standing. And I do think the Woodies may have to score this turn. They shouldn't have had to, but I think they might. As the, all those catchers. In fact, there wasn't there. There's a load that oh, come those with. catchers in the middle. Yeah, yeah. You swap <laughs> sides here, don't you? I'd probably blitz with the dancer here and swap sides. It's uh, it's the frenzy. Yeah. Yes, it's a sidestep. This is why frenzy is a nega trade. Sometimes, but you can you just dodge and just run away. Yeah. Can't you? One, just two, run away. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And dodge everyone off and just cage. And make sure you guard a stance in, in the most annoying of the corners. Yeah. The Dark Elf can definitely uh, two turn because they can keep the ball deep. Yeah. They don't have to move the ball forward. They just yeah. need relay station. There's no the really looking to one turn. It would be, um, a, a, I think, a bad decision not to. Yeah, that, you need to try. You can stall in that corner, it's fine, there is space. And it looks like he is. Yeah, so, yeah that's alright now because... It does make a pain in the ass. Yeah, but he can, he can actually side, he can stall just in front instead now. He can just one from the end zone because he's got sidestep. Yeah. So he can literally just stall where he's about to standing. Yeah, that's really nice, isn't it? It is. Really nice. How many players have got the two ca one catcher there? Yeah, but, yeah this, with dodge, easy. this with dodge. This with a reroll. This with dodge and this with a reroll. So. And, the, and the one by the witch elf with a reroll as well. So you can yeah. easily make a cage. Yeah, so as I said, he is swapping sides. I think there was could one just stay. in there. Yeah, he, he could, could have just done stay. staying. Staying gets an extra person, but then. If he stays, then this guy gets relevant as well, doesn't he? So I guess it's... it's yeah, but strength, four but strength 4 tackle is still the dude coming. 
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then our question is, can Spring 4 tackle come around? Oh, and now he's missing a player because can 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Eight. Now he's Why forced to do 3 plus 2 plus... All that important dodge. I, I really... I, I would stay but just because you could make your cage and only 2 pluses. Now he got 3 plus 2 plus. And... Yeah. And it's 3 plus. Oof. Makes it though. He has but, to re-roll it. Yeah. He's probably re-rolled it anyway but just because of the winning chance it will be higher. But it's giving him a 3 plus. He didn't need to have. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Because I think Strength 4 is still the best option. Yes. No matter if Wrestle was there. Correct. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Well, Especially you because you could have put, you have put guard there, so the Wrestle had to dodge in and round from the middle. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah. Come in from the far side, but cancelling the two assists from there is a the guard, business. The guard, uh, the guard, side the guard side. Blazer. Yeah. yeah, he can easily run down now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's two, <laughs> two go for it, but it's terrible. Yeah, it's. Have we had more to. We'll get a, a turn off a wind again. I mean, it's pretty tricky. It's quite good being over this side. If you were there, he'd go straight in, wouldn't he? Whereas now he's got to run all the way. Like it's, it is a bit good being over here. I don't know. But yeah, so one so die do the three two. Best he can do, but he's coming for it again. The witch is that a bit early? Because she isn't she the sweep up piece? No, it's uh, the, the, it must be the wrestle. It's, you have to do the wrestle uh, dodge now instead. But yeah, I'll probably right. That's the wrestle dodge lineman. And he got sidestepped, so, yeah, yeah oh, but he cannot sidestep into the end zone. Are we, are we going for the one dice? Wow. Oh my, oh, he gets Except it. Final. That's, uh, and now he just sidestepped to the st squ square you should have been standing yep. in. The yeah. right. That's, yeah. yeah, I don't like that. I think the two, yeah. two plus. I think he plays the two negative again. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a lot of dice to get the two D though, isn't it? So like, I guess he it's two go. plus two plus. Uh, no, it's a bit more than that. It's a bit more than that, right? Because the 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 bits is here, so you'd have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven GFI GFI. So you'd have to do an extra three and two GFIs. Yeah. Then you'd have to go two GFIs to cancel them as well. So it was it was a lot more dice to get the two D, but obviously getting a two D is really good as. Move the strength tackle zone off this ball, but we're going to struggle to move. Yeah, I think he should have been next to it as well, but I guess that could have been pushed onto it. We're going to struggle to move the uh, the two sidestep off that ball, so it's an interesting position now. Are the elves going to pick if, up on a four? If if you can move strength, if you but if you can, yeah, even without his five, he's still two tackle zone for elf is still only four plus. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But we do need and to move the strength one first. Yeah, that's the that's the. And and what did I say about keeping the ball on on your tackle piece? <laughs> yes. I'm, yes. I'm just saying. Yes, very very good, clever clever K Fog. But you know the frenzy's really bad, right? No Against all these side steps. Much. That's the problem. Yeah. But you, I've still rather had him than anything else right now. Sure, sure. <laughs> That's now your sure. best. Do you have wrestle? That's the wrestle there, but he has a hard time getting in. Yeah. You, you can also, of course, gamble and just try to push something else into the ball. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that's the two. I mean, other than it's either a strength four or the two sidesteppers, so it's very yeah, much the Dark Elves' choice here if they bounce the ball mostly. Do you one D? Do you one D this strength four? I think you wandy him, don't you? You've got him I, with guard and him. You don't need to move him. I think that's probably the best, yeah. yeah, yeah. To Just move him and go for the four plus. That was another thing with running away from where your spring three players was. Yeah. You need to... This time, line elf that just need to mark that... He needs to just mark that dude in front. 
Okay, he goes from uphill. That was not necessary. He could have. He could have. Then you And you definitely marked that. You put marked that. Uh, <laughs> he double powered his bludger, by the way, just quietly. <laughs> Come up. Was that uphill? Yeah, uphill, uphill, double powered his bludger. When he could have pushed it the other way. Yeah. But then this is perfect because now he gets him in there, which gets the chain off, which is just yeah. glorious. And he's. But yeah, I do. Ah, uh, and he got that lineman in the bottom. He's still not done anything with. It. That should have been marking one of the dark elves that can score. <laughs> uh, he moved. He moved in this one. He oh, moved I moved him. him. So he... but why, why is he not in front of him then? I don't know. Oh well. <laughs> cool. Um, four plus, four, pl four plus, two plus to win the game. Uh... Probably win. Gonna do something with the edges in the uh, Oh, I'll oh, do that. Yeah, that's fine. That's better. Two plus throw here, or oh, is it actually? So he does better because there's tackle. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, it did three, three plus throw. No, n yeah. now he needs, but he already does then. He can pass, but it's it hand, wasn't handing off better. But the same. handing off is about the same. Anyway, he scored and it's it's lift. He did. Yeah, it's a bit weird. I, 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 I do wonder actually. So it does seem to attack or soon. So it's tree plus, tree plus. So cool. Versus a tree and two side steppers. Your dark elves with frenzy. Can you score? No. Yeah. <laughs> and if you can't, I'm just taking that that no one on earth can. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Um. It doesn't oh. Work, it, it might it? if he if he does this. You, you, in theory, if if you had been having more movement than seven, <laughs> you could because you could surround. Uh, and surround and get well pushed that way. Yeah, but you right. don't have a move nine, sprinty uh, sidestep. No, with move seven, this is fucked, isn't it? Yeah, completely. But I still wonder about it touching in. He it, it, it makes it three plus three plus instead of a straight off four plus. Yeah, that's it's only markedly better, and it's risking killing your own guy. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? It's mm. interesting. I wonder if there was a chance, like one day or something. But he's got sized it, and they both had side steps, so couldn't really hit him. But four plus with a reroll is straight off seventy-five percent. Three plus three plus is seventy-four. So it's not particularly much better. Yeah. And then he ended up passing in tackle zones, where yeah. the other thing was four plus two plus. Yeah. So he ended up doing 3 plus 3 plus, passing to minus 2, minus, is that still 2 plus or was that a 3 plus? Well, how does this game do it? Because yeah. normally 2 plus... The pass one, would have been the 3, wouldn't it? Because it's, a, it's yeah, a 1, like, 2, 3, yeah. So he did 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus instead of 4 plus 2 plus. Oh, no, no the pass was a 4 plus, wasn't it? No, it's 85. Oh, he's got the plus... No, yeah, he's got the plus one, hasn't he? He's got the plus one. So it's, it's plus minus one, two. minus two. Yeah, yeah, so I was, was thinking it was three, minus two, two so I was like, what? He fumbled? <laughs> but yeah, no, he wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was only minus one. It's, it's a three plus, three plus, three plus, two plus with a reroll. It's actually only, what, just under 60 with a team reroll? Mm. Well, he is setting up to one turn. Okay, so four plus, two plus must be about 70. He must certainly think on a it. quick snap he's got the chance here. Yeah, quick snap might be enough. Oh, just Riot is still fine, just is, overloading one yeah. side anyway. It's the peak hope, isn't it? Yeah, I think Riot's, Riot is your best ch chance here, isn't it? Maybe with a quick snap, maybe, but... I still think oh, even well. with a quick snap you're not going to do it, are you? <laughs> I can't I'm see sure. it. Yeah. I'm sure somebody can correct me, but I think 4 plus 2 plus is was better. <laughs> Yeah, probably were. I, I mean, I think it was, yeah. In, instead of three, three pluses and the two plus. Yeah. Since there was no skills on any of it. Yeah. No, well, <laughs> instant. There we are. Woody's win, what a shocker. <laughs> oh, wow. Better Dark Elf team. Wow. 
That's crazy, isn't it? Because that was just like it was pretty much a bog standard Wood Elf team, wasn't it? There wasn't really anything exciting. Nothing about them, to it, Jim, was there? It I was think... a it was a lovely one turn though, wasn't it? Lovely one turn. Hello man case, lovely one turn, congrats, yeah. That was that was amazing getting the one turn against a perfect defence with the, with all of the uh, all the push its chain was incredible. So yeah. I, f I, f I think Mankich just played it more positive. Yeah. Yeah. Setting up to try to win, uh, playing it to win. And I wonder if part of that was knowing that he had to. Um feeling behind going in, knowing okay, I've got to be aggressive here, I've got to find things that change those odds. Whereas perhaps the Dark Elves were a little complacent. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? But um, there you go. Commiserations, Kinroth. Congratulations, Mankes. Thank you very much, PC and Core, for coming in. Absolutely glorious to have you on, as always. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.